mandated to prevent all travelers who prevent symptom, present symptoms of COVID-19 to board a plane. Air operators will be required to complete a basic health assessment of every air traveler based on guidance from the Public Health Agency of Canada. This means that anyone who has symptoms will not be able to come to Canada. I know this news will spark concern among Canadians traveling abroad. I want to assure you that our government will not leave you unsupported. To help asymptomatic Canadians return home, our government will set up a support program for Canadians who need to get on a plane. Canadian travelers will be able to get financial assistance to help them with the costs of returning home or temporarily covering their basic needs while they wait to come back to Canada. Until further notice, Canadian travelers should return to Canada via commercial means while it is still possible to do so. Let me be clear, if you're abroad, it's time for you to come home. If you've just arrived, you must self-isolate for 14 days. And finally, all Canadians, as much as possible, should stay home. By staying home, you can not only protect your health and that of those around you, but ensure that our healthcare professionals and our healthcare systems can focus on those who need their help. This is an adjustment for all of us. We know that staying home is an important step to protect the community and each other. We all have to do it. But I don't want to, but I want to remind all Canadians that social distancing doesn't mean we have to stop talking to each other. <laughs> Pick up the phone, write an email, FaceTime. The strength of our country is our capacity to come together and care for each other, especially in times of need. So call your friends, check in with your family, think of your community, buy only what you need at the store. But if you're heading out to grab groceries, ask your neighbor if you can get them anything. And if you know someone who is working on the front lines, send them a thank you. See how they're holding up. In Canada, we're lucky to have outstanding healthcare professionals. Yes. I want to thank them once again for their tireless efforts to keep us all safe. At the same time, our government is doing everything it needs to do to keep you safe, to keep your family safe, and to keep our economy strong. No matter what our next steps look like, you can rest assured that we will take them together.